Afternoon. How's it going? Good. Good. How are you doing? I'm John. Brian. Brian. Michael. Mike. 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 Leslie. Leslie, nice to meet you. Welcome to Arizona. Beautiful 100 degrees. Got a nice shady <laughs> tent. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to have a 90-minute clinic. Uh, we're going to go through some basic drills. Um, out you, on the thing, you can see that we have some stations set up um, behind the alignment stick. It's called the Think Box Play Box Technique. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our we're going to step behind the play box and do our think box. And that's where we're going to do all of our drills. We're going to do where we're thinking up, you know, practicing. And then once we get up ready to hit, we're going to just go straight into it and hit our golf shot. So I don't want to see a lot of practicing, you know, at the ball. All of the practicing is done in the think box. So this is kind of help you take it on the course where we can go practice swings. And as soon as we're ready to hit, we can step up and go. So we're going to do a couple drills. Uh, we're going to have a water break in between, you know, to not have our 100 degree heat melt us. So other than that, let's, uh, let's... All right, welcome back. Thank you. We're doing a short game clinic today. Uh, as you can see out here, we have some dis different distances set up. So what we're gonna work on are shots from 50, 75, 85, and 100 yards. And we're not trying to hit those yards per se, but we're gonna try and find our swings from those areas and you know just see how far the ball goes from our swing. So we're gonna do a quarter swing, a half swing, and a three quarter swing all to finish and we're just going to see how far that ball goes and that's what we're going to take into our game so we'll have more shots we can have more confidence out on the golf course so anyway let's get into it and uh which club are we we're going to be using our sand wedge and our gap wedge if we have it oh, um, pitching wedge works yeah pitching wedge or sand wedge okay. so all right welcome back week three to clinics how's everybody doing today oh, good my shoulders are a little sore hopefully not this way yeah, good. Everybody's week go. Anything crazy happen at work? Well, I had a kind of a tough week myself. It was a little stressful, so it's nice to be out on the golf course yeah. to be able to kind of think about some other things, get all that stuff out of the way. Yeah. Were, we, were we able to practice at all throughout the week? I practiced out in the backyard you know, almost every night, just trying to get the balance and try to get that uh, somehow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 Um, so, what are we looking forward to today? What do you got? start warming up here and you know, we'll get right into it. Again, we're going to kind of try to, to do what we did two weeks ago. Um, we're going to kind of work on the bunker play in terms of tempo is going to be our biggest distance control. You know, we're going to try and do the same swing every time. Um, we're also going to look at grip and posture and stance to make sure that we, you know, all the things we've been working on, you know, pertain, you know, we can take those with us out the week. Any questions before we start? This is a lot shorter than what we did before. Right. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a, a smaller tempo, a shorter swing, but um, the way this is going to work is, you know, we're still going to accelerate through. We're still going to feel like we're attacking the ball. Um, it's just, you know, with what clubs we're using, 